Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 48. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 6 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet I3 for incentive pay. Now, in our last video, we saw how to do piecework. You get $1 for every boomerang you make. But here we have variable uh, dollar amounts that are paid dependent on the number of boomerangs you make. So for example, in this problem, you're going to get paid a dollar and five cents for the first 75 boomerangs you make, a dollar 35 for boomerangs between number 76 and 120, and a dollar 75 for 121 or more boomerangs. So we're going to have a ta table with various uh, amounts that you're paid for number of items made. Now when you get a problem like this, and we'll actually see this is in piecework, we'll also see a commission table that'll have var uh, variable commission rates. We'll also see a tax table at the end in sections uh, 6.4 that also has variable tax rates. Anytime you have either variable rates or variable amounts that you're paid, it's best to just take the data from the problem and make a little table. All right, so I'm going to put the word category here and control B. And I'm just going to put a category, so right? 1 to 75 boomerangs, 76 to 120. 1, and I'm going to put the word 2, 75. Actually, if I typed 1 75, it would think it was January 1975. All right, so the next category is 76 to 120. So I type 76 to 120, enter. And then the final category from right here, 121 or more, 121 or more. Now, this isn't very helpful. We're, we may have to use the number 75 or 120 in subsequent formulas. So it's helpful to write this out. But we also want to break apart the lower and upper, lower and upper into our table. So I'm going to type upper. I'm sorry, I'm going to type lower and then upper. And then finally, I'm also going to need a column that shows me the amount, $1.05, $1.35. So in this column here, I'll, I'll call this pay per one made. And I'll make these all bold, Control B. Now the upper is 1, so I'm going to type 1, tab, 75, tab. And a dollar and five cents. 1.05, control enter. Either apply currency or control shift four. Enter. All right, this is 76. 120 is the upper, and let's see, it's a one dollar and thirty-five cents. All right, now I'm gonna control shift four um, and then enter. The upper category is 121. I don't know what the upper limit is to this category, so I'm just going to put question marks. But I do know that I get paid $1.75. Control Enter, Control Shift 4. All right, so with this table, we can start to uh, make our calculations. Now, the thing is, is if you're given 137, it's going to just be a big multi-step calculation, right? Because, oh, the first 75 are going to be at $1.05. The next, well, wait a second. How many are in this category? But however many are there, I'm going to uh, get paid $1.35. And then any, any remaining number above 100, or either equal to or above 121 is 175. So you know what? We still need one extra column here. I need to know how many 75. How many? Well, I need to calculate how many are in this category. And then this one we leave blank because we don't know. So I'm going to um, say number, oh, just number in category. Control B. Right. Now, how many are in this? Well, 1 to 75. So we can simply go the upper limit, right? Because that's the first category. But what about this one? Well, I can't go 120 minus 76. 
because that would be one too few. You can actually do this on your fingers. You count 76, 77, all the way up to 120. Oh, there it is. That's the key. If I need to count the 76, then the formula is, hey, the upper from this category minus the upper from the category from before, right? We minus 75 from 120. It gives us exactly what we want, 45. I'm going to put a little color there because those are formulas. Now this one, we again, we have no idea, right? That's the last category, the upper, so however many you make. Now, with the table like this, now we can go ahead and calculate our multi-step calculation, set of calculations to calculate the total earned, right? 137. So I'm just going to put booms made, 137. All right, well, let's do this. Calculation one. Number one, right here. We're going to do it on this row. Even if you're doing this on a piece of paper, you know you're doing multiple rows of calculations to figure this out. Well, the first thing is, we uh, look at this 137. It's way more than the number in this category, or the upper limit, really, is where you want to look. So I'm, I get everything in this category, 75 times that. Now I'm going to actually move this down one. I want to be careful. I want to label everything. So I'm going to come here and call this number in, I should have just done a uh, cell reference looking up there, but that's OK. And this is pay per one made. Really, I should have done this. Instead of typing, tab equals this. Just faster that way if you can think of it. All right, number and category. Ooh, well, oh, 37. OK, so I'm 137, 137 way above. So it's all 75. And what's the pay? $1.05. And then here will be our actual pay in dollars. Now this, we saw last video how sometimes our rate of pay for each piece we make, or whatever the item is, maybe half pennies. Here are their actual pennies, 35 cents, 5 cents. But I'm going to be careful here and do round. Really, the rule is anytime you're multiplying or dividing decimals, just use round. Then whenever you get into a situation where you have to, you're already there. Control Enter. OK, so $78.75. That is not all of the calculations, because we've only calculated the pay for the first 75. The next step is to figure out how many remain. Here's all the boomerangs. Here's the number of boomerangs made that we already calculated pay for. So I'm going to put remain here. What is that? Oh, equals this minus this. 137 minus 75. And I'm going to add some uh, formatting there. Now, calculation 2. Now, watch what happens when I type a C. It's called autocomplete. I'm just going to change that to there. Tab. All right, now I'm going to take this 62, look up here. This is the second tier or the second category here. There's 45. So I'm still, I get everything from this category. So here, number in category. Actually, why don't I do uh, number in category equals 45. So my second calculation is going to involve multiplying 45 times this to figure out the um, pay for this category. I'm going to use that same round. This times this. And I'm going to put some green here because that's a formula. All right, now what about, OK, so 45. We can clearly see when we looked up here 62 and compared these two, there's going to be some left over for the next category. So I'm going to put remain. And it's, oh yeah, the amount before we made this calculation, the number made minus the number made that we've already calculated the pay for, right? So 17. All right, now we can do calculation um, three. Now notice what happens when I put a C. How come it worked there but not here? Because calculation number two is different than number one, so it doesn't. So I'm just going to, it doesn't see that they're the same. So I'm going to copy this paste it here and just put uh, 3. All right. To be consistent, right? That was a calculation. OK, now this is just 17. 
17. Remember, we don't know exactly how many here, but there's 17 left. So I'm going to refer to that. Our pay for this category is going to be, ah, the $1.75. And I'm going to do my round again. Equals round. Remember, you can do multiplication in any order. So it doesn't matter if you do number of boomerangs made times uh, price, uh, times the pay you get, or vice versa. Comma 2. All right, so those are the calculations you need to make. There's 1, 2, 3. The total gross. I'm simply going to add. And I don't, I'm not going to use the sum function because these cells are not next to each other. Just go like that, and boom. We don't need to round any of these because these numbers are already rounded. And there is the total. So it's just flat out going to be a multi-step process. Now let's try a second problem. I'm going to scroll down here. And we have our description here. So we have a new employee that sold 115, but it's the same categories, 1 to 75 boomerangs in the same pay. Same categories, pay, right? And that's common. If you're working in payroll, you have a bunch of different employees working off the same table. So I'm actually going to copy this little template here. Now here's the thing. When I copy this, right, we completed our calculations all the way to the final category. So when we copy this, there may be an employee who doesn't make it all the way to the last category. No problem. We'll just delete that stuff. But the top part of this is great. We want to copy this control C. I'm going to click in A24 and control V. All right. So 115. So I'm going to change this to 115. And I can see there's trouble down here. So minus. So I'm, I'm just going to highlight this. And I want to clear this. If I hit the delete key, it deletes just the content. But I want to delete everything. I'm actually going to control Z. Deleting content, which is the delete key, or formatting, can be done on the home ribbon. There's an eraser button in the editing group, and you click this. There's clear just the formats. There's clear contents, which is the same as the delete key. And there's this button. I love this. This erases everything. All right. So as we're looking at 115, obviously the first category here, that one's fine. There's 40 remaining. And I just subtracted those two there from our little earlier template. So that means this is not correct. I'm going to say equals 40, because they didn't make it all the way through the second category tab. And there it is. Those calculations are correct. Those are just round. So I come here and I go total. Gross pay. And I simply go equals this plus this. And uh, so now we have our little table. We used, uh, copied our template from above and altered it a little bit. And now we have for this person that made 115, their total gross pay. All right, when we come back in our next video, we will see how to do more incentive pay calculations. See you next video.